Good morning, everybody. Yesterday we cleaned this tuner in the dishwasher. Well, today is nook and cranny cleaning day. To get into all of them tight little spots in there and get rid of what's left of the gunk, which is in the whole lot, and uh, get this thing cleaned up and ready to go. Now I disassembled it a little farther from what you seen yesterday which I took off the dial scale mounting bracket and the notched piece that tunes it and this thing is attached with rivets not clips, they aren't pushing clips, they're actual uh, steel rivets so those will have to be drilled out when the time comes and on this uh, rubber bushing that does the tuning action I do believe that that's something somebody has cut down and replaced. And it's actually pliable, it's not hard. But you can see how uneven it is when I turn it. <laughs> so I might be able to find something local to go over that, because that looks like a piece of like air hose rubber or a piece of tubing somebody cut and put on there. It's definitely not 80 years old. It's too pliable. I believe, anyway. I could be dead wrong about that. Anywho, what we'll be doing today, pull this over here. is cleaning down in between all these little spots get all this nasty gunk out of here which really isn't too bad pipe cleaner is perfect to do this kind of work because it doesn't flex those fins one bit and down between the plates it seems to be fairly clean to begin with and it was yesterday before I uh, ran it through the dishwasher off camera what I didn't show or tell you is that I did blow it out with a can of compressed air and uh, give it a, uh, a wash down before it was put into the dishwasher so before anybody cites me for saying ooh you threw that nasty thing in there with your dishes and didn't think twice about it well it was cleaned up to a point where all the large matter was pulled out of it and there wasn't any cobwebs or anything like that, and uh, it come out really clean. Now, you noticed I said there was some oxidation on them tube shields, and uh, I'm not sure exactly what that was. Once I uh, put them back here in the water and washed them off with the cloth, a washcloth, they cleaned right up with no problem. So it could just be residue, and you know, everything washed away. It just is like putting dirty dishes in there, just cleaned it all away, and it ran through a rinse cycle and washed everything out. So I don't believe there's any harm there. That's my opinion. So uh, I'm going to get to cleaning on this thing today and see what we can get done. See if I can give you a shorter video for part 8 than the 28 minute ramble fest I did yesterday. I've been spending the last several minutes cleaning each and every individual crevice and nook and cranny in this tuner with a piece of pipe cleaner. And this is pretty nice. Now, you want to make sure that your metal stem inside of this isn't getting uh, bent. That way it digs into the side of your capacitor plates. That just spells disaster in my book. <laughs> just be careful and take your time. Clean your tuner, you know, this is a vital part of your radio. Why would you want to go through the restoration of everything else in this and then scrimp on the cleaning of something as important as your tuner? So, just been going through here real easy and gentle like, fitting it down in all these little crevices. And it works pretty good. 
And when I finish a section, I'll dip it in the water and clean it off. And uh, really, it's not too grimy considering <clears throat> all the little spots the dishwasher didn't get. Now I already wore that one piece of pipe cleaner out, and that's the beauty of this. You can snip it off and move on down the line. So I'm pretty much done getting into all my little individual spots. I'll do a close examination under a bright light here in a minute. Make sure I've gotten everything, but overall, it's pretty clean. I hit a few other spots here, and we'll go in from the bottom and open this up and go in from the bottom and check it out. Our tuner is once again resting peacefully after a good bath. We'll let it sit here and dry. But it cleaned up really well. There's a little bit of a nick right here. I'll have to take a small fine piece of sandpaper and knock those rough edges off so I don't drag when it opens and closes. And it might not now. I'll have to uh, set up my multimeter with a continuity test and test between these plates here and here as we rotate it. It's a good tip. I picked that up uh, watching another restore. That way when you put this back in you'll have confidence in knowing that the lower plates, uh, the stationary plates down here aren't contacting the uh, movable plates as the tuner rotates and we'll do that for each gang <clears throat> it's always a good thing to, to to try that out that burnt me on a on a previous radio that I had shorted plates on and I didn't realize it um, they had gotten bent when I was cleaning it and I didn't realize the extent of the uh, plate uh, contact and we had a shorted connection in there so check that out Anyway, we'll let this sit here and dry for a while, and I'll take it down below it out with compressed air, and we'll let it set for about a week and dry out and make sure everything's good to go. Meanwhile, what we're working on over here is the knob that makes contact with the metal plate that does the tuning, uh, turns the tuner, I should say, and this is the rubber bushing or grommet or whatever it is. We're going to take this apart and see exactly what this thing looks like. It looks like a hacked in version somebody's done a while back. And it might be, you know. I don't think it's original. Okay, I got the rubber piece off of the tuning knob. And yeah, this looks like something somebody carved on with a dull pocket knife or a butter knife. It's pretty hacked up. Wow but it's still pliable so if it is uh, original it's damn good quality rubber and uh, if it's a replacement it's shrunk about a sixteenth of a diameter around it so it doesn't make contact no more and underneath of that on the shaft it's got knurled edges so it grips the rubber good and we'll throw that in the sink for cleaning I need to find something like this. Now, Redvented Radios has an RCA piece for, uh, I should say, a piece for an RCA tuner. Looks very comparable to this. And I'm going to do some measurements and probably send them in to uh, somebody at Renovated Radios via email and see what they think about that. I also got to look for some tuner grommets, uh, the chassis grommets that the tuner sits in, too. So we'll clean on this and. Uh, scrub this up a little bit better. Uh, it's also going to need a uh, bath in the navel jelly too. Okay, Mr. Clean to the rescue one more time. Um, these magic erasers guys, I'm telling you, you gotta check them out. Metal parts, first time I've cleaned metal parts with them. They shined them right up and took that nasty yellowish film right off of them. As a matter of fact, uh, it 
got broke a little bit more, but I said we got to replace that anyway. I'll keep the pieces. We lost a piece off our dial scale again. But that cleaned out all up real nice. Did a real good job on it. So, what we have here is a bracket for the tuner. It's got that nasty greasy stuff in there, and I couldn't get it to come off to watch this. Put the camera down for a minute. <coughs> telling you, these things work good for a lot of different purposes besides household cleaning. They're really impressive. I don't know what these cost. My wife buys them as she needs them. Guess I better check that out. I, <laughs> I, I owe her a couple, about a box of these now. I've used them for all kinds of radio cleaning purposes. Probably a lot of you are wondering how I'm getting away with doing this at our kitchen sink. Well, I kind of have to because down in the shop I have cold water and uh, it works pretty good. I mean, it's not great for uh, budging loose stuck parts and things like that. Whereas up here I can clean with household cleaners that's not harsh or anything with the stainless sink and whatnot. Okay, let me show you what we got here. Dry my hands off. Here we have our cleaned up piece. The grease is gone. It's got some staining. That's no big deal. Cleaned it right up. Yep. Saved us yet once again. As you've seen, there are many different ways to clean tuning capacitors. Now, this isn't one of them, it's my way or the highway type things. I just want to share with you guys what I have uh, picked up and learned since I've gotten into the interest of uh, fixing up these old radios and stuff like that. And there's tons more ways to clean this stuff than what I'm showing you or a lot of the other YouTube members show you. But I like to look for a method I have here on site that I don't have to go out and buy or something that I don't have to resort to harsh chemicals to clean like uh, contact cleaners or degreasers and stuff like that unless it's absolutely necessary so you know the, the pipe cleaner method does work it works very well for getting all the little tight spots in this tuner housing and the, and the plates and stuff like that and uh, this does work great on metal parts now we got a few pieces we have to go and find. That's no big deal. That's expected. And uh, I just wanted to give you an update of what's going on. A little bit more in-depth cleaning. Everything's good to go. We'll let this dry, like I said, for about a week or something. We got a few places to hit with some navel jelly on the end of the tuner housing. And I'm going to clean this piece in some navel jelly, even though it does look a lot better than what it did. It still needs to be touched. And we'll go from there, guys. Thanks for watching.